Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how you can create a Google type search suggestion drop down in Excel. So let me first show you what I mean by a search suggestion drop down list in Excel. So you can see I have a, a drop down here where when I click on this I get a list of countries. So I have this list of countries and all these countries are there in the drop down list here. I can also type manually here but have a look what happens when I type so I would type United so U N I T E D and as soon as I type all those countries that have that word that text string that I'm typing in it gets displayed below this bar so if I'm typing India I type I and as soon as I type I all the countries that have I in it get displayed here and when I continue typing I, I type N then all the countries with I and N in it get displayed then similarly when I type I and D only there are two countries India and Indonesia which have I and D in it so this is a Google type search suggestion where uh, it gives me suggestions while I am typing a text string in this search bar so I will show you how to create this from scratch I have another sheet with the same data set and I'll show you how to do this uh, first we need to insert uh, that search bar so in Excel that would be a combo box you first go to developer tab in developer tab go to insert within insert we have this active X controls option within active X controls you have combo box click on combo box and place it anywhere in Excel so this would give us that search bar that we just had a look at right click on this and go to properties in properties you see there are two options alphabetic and categorized go to alphabetic and here in you make certain changes in auto word select make it false go down and you have linked cell here in here I would give B2 as the linked cell B2 is this cell which means that while these this cell this combo box is connected to this cell and anything I type in this box would get displayed here and finally in match entry uh, right now one is selected which is FM match entry complete I make it FM match entry none so that's it for the properties of combo box uh, go to the design mode so that you come out of the edit mode in combo box and now you can type in this and see what happens when I type so if I type India it instantly gets displayed here in B2 similarly if I type United it instantly get gets displayed in cell B2 now the idea is to search all these names and see what are the names that contain this text as of now I have United in here so I should get United States and United Kingdom from this list extracted here so that I can show them as my search suggestion here to do that I would use formulas I would use the search formula I have to find text which is this here in B2 I would lock it by pressing F4 once within text I would use this cell E3 and the start number would be 1 because we want to identify or search from the beginning of the word and I close this and you can see that it returns a 1 here because there is a match in United States because United States matches United and similarly a 1 should be a 1 would be displayed in United Kingdom so let me double click on this and apply this for the entire list and you can see for United Kingdom as well I have a 1 in all the other cases I have a value error because United is not there in this names in these names to handle these errors I would use if error so I say that if there is an error if there is no error then use this value but if there is an error then give me blank cells so that's it I double click on this to apply it for all the cells and you can see that I have one only in front of those countries which have this text string in their name so if I type I 
in here you can see that I have all these names here because I is there in all these countries similarly I, if I type N then you can see I have uh, the numbers here you may be wondering what what these numbers are these numbers represent the starting character where the match starts so uh, you can see that in China the match of I N starts from the third character so C H and then from there there is a match which is I N for this case I do not want these numbers I want only one or zero so to handle that let me first make this united because that makes it easier to follow to handle that I would use is number so is number would give me a true if there is a number and a false if the cell does not have a number so I get a list of true and false and to convert these trues and falses to ones and zeros I use double negative so you can see all the trues are converted into one and all the falses are zero so I only have a one for those names where there is a match so in this case it's United States and United Kingdom now the second step is to identify all those values where I have one all those cells which has a one in it so I use if if this is equal to one then I want to count its its frequency so for this one it should be one for this one it should be two if I have more ones then that should be three four and so on so I say if this is equal to one then count if and I give this cell reference f3 is to f3 and I lock the first f3 and my criteria is that it should be a one but if this is not a one then this this should return me a blank let me show you what this would return so this would return a one here for the first occurrence of one two here for the second occurrence of one if I change it to I n you can see that this gives me one for first occurrence two for second occurrence three for third occurrence and so on let me again go back to this and explain this formula a bit so this is a simple if formula that checks whether this cell is a one or not and if this is a one then this counts with a condition that if this is a one then what is the frequency or what is the number of times it has already occurred in the list so in this case you can see I have given it a range which is f3 is to f3 but I have locked the first half of the reference which means that when I will go down the row this would be this would remain f3 but this would change to f4 so let me show what happens when I go down the row this checks for this uh, this cell which is f4 and this is not a one but had it been a one it would have counted for these two cells and it would have checked what has been the number of times one is repeated here so this is one but if this is one again then this would return two because this count returns two here if this is one this is one and this is one then this would return three because in that case this would cover all these three cells the range of count if would cover all these three cells and the criteria is one so this would give a three so now I have these numbers one and two here now all I need to do is get a list uh, of these names which have this number so I need to get United States here and United Kingdom here I would use a simple index formula in which this is my array and <coughs> in a row number I would match I would match and my lookup value is rows g3 is to g3 I would lock the first g3 so that when I go down the row this rows becomes 2 and when I go down further it becomes 3 so it gets incremented by 1 every time this is my lookup value so my match lookup value is 1 for the first cell 2 for the second cell 3 for the third cell and my 
lookup array is this and I lock this and my match type is 0 which is exact match and I close this I also lock this reference so now when I click enter I get United States here and when I apply this formula down you can see that I have United States here and United Kingdom here if I change this to IN you can see I have all the countries names which have IN in it to handle the error I would again use if error and this is the value but in case there is an error I want this to return a blank so now I have a list of countries which has the text string that I have here in the search bar so for example I type I then all these countries with I get selected here let me again go back to United now I would need to create a named range but a named range in such a way that it has these names so whenever I have two names that named range should uh, encompass these two names but when I have more number of names say in this case these many five names then that name range should get updated automatically to use these five names so to do that I'll show you how to do this and there is an amazing use of index formula that I'll show to create that name range let me first create that formula and show you how it works so I would give it the first half of the reference is h3 so it always starts from h3 because this is the first name I lock it and for the second half instead of a cell reference instead of a cell address I would use the index formula and I would use this array I would lock it by pressing F4 and for a row number I would use count if formula and for count if I would use this entire range again and my criteria would be that these cells should not be empty so I would use the wild character question mark and an asterisk and this is my condition this is it uh, I know that index formula also requires me to enter a column number but since my array only has one column it is alright if I do not enter the column number index formula would understand that all the numbers that I've entered would be the first thing would only be row number so now I enter this formula and as of now you see only China get displayed but let me show you the magic when I select when I get into the edit mode by pressing F2 and when I select this entire formula and press F9 it displays all these five countries so it has all these five countries now let me go back here and change this to United and let me again show you what this formula has done press F9 and you can see that it has updated itself so that I only have United States and United Kingdom here now let me go back to the formula again and show you how it works the first half of this cell reference is h3 which is not going to change but the second half is an index formula now in normal cases this index formula would have returned a value in this case if I press F9 you can see so if in this case I select this entire formula and press F9 you can see that this returns United Kingdom and this returns United Kingdom because I have given it this array and I tell this formula that the row number is the number of character the number of cells that are filled in this case so the row number would be 2 in this case because 2 cells are filled so in count if I give the entire array I put a condition that the cell should not be empty and in this case count if would return 2 so let me show you that here count if returns 2 and so index formula with this array and with row number as 2 would return United Kingdom but since this is in front of a reference instead of a value it returns a cell reference and therefore it automatically gets updated so when I go here and I type I 
this formula gets updated because count if value changes if I press F9 you can see this is 13 now because there are 13 cells which are non empty and therefore this index formula returns Saudi Arabia but instead of the value this actually returns a cell reference so you have this named ray you have this this thing ready this formula ready now I can use this formula in my named range so I go to formula name manager and I click on new and here I paste this formula I would keep the sheet one cell reference here and I would paste the remaining formula so I can go back and check I've pasted it correctly oh there is a equal, equal to one so this is my named range I would name this range as drop down list and I click OK now how to get the search suggestion here everything is ready all I need to do is put a small macro in for this search bar so I go to developer tab I go to design mode and I double click on this and it instantly opens up this VBA window I need to just copy paste a small code I have my website open here which is www.trumpexcel.com I have this article written which says uh, Excel tip number 20 which uh, talks about how to create this list and step by step uh, has all the steps here it also has this code here which I copy and I would paste in this window so I delete this and I paste this window let me just correct the quotation marks Uh, make sure that the name of this combo box is the name that you have in the VBA code in this case I have this name as combo box one which is the name I'm using here but in case the name is different or you already have a sheet which have more than one combo box this might change so you might have to change this name just press the run button and you are ready to go so now when you press I it would have a search suggestion with all the countries which uh, whose name has I in it similarly when you have I and DIA then it will show you uh, all the countries that match that text string uh, just for cosmetic purposes you can drag this and put it on cell B3 and then get out of the edit mode you can even try and hide all these cells also ensure that while you're saving this uh, workbook uh, you save this with uh, XLS format or XLSM format because we have used a small macro for this combo box so that's it for this video I hope you found this useful for more such tips and tricks on Excel visit my website www.trumpexcel.com or subscribe to this channel on YouTube thank you and have a nice day